Welcome to Paris everyone. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my trip here. I've got the Eurostar from St Pancras unfortunately. I'm from Ashford and the Eurostar did used to go from Ashford but um, they changed it for some reason. I don't know if not enough people were using it. So I had to get the high speed train from Ashford to St Pancras and then from there straight to Paris. Now, it wasn't a bad journey. I found my way all right, so that's always a good thing. But I'm gonna tell you about my hotel. I'm staying in the Hotel Lautrec Opera. It's a three star, and I'm gonna give you a little tour around it in a minute. I've got to say, it's not a great hotel. It costs quite a lot of money as well. I think it's because I'm on a weekend, Friday to Sunday. It works out £140 a night. So that's £280 on this hotel. Um, very basic. No kettle. They don't even give you water or anything. There's nothing given away. Very small. Let's have a little tour of it though. It's going around. There's the view out my window. Looks like a bar or restaurant next door. Some kind of a picture on the on the side there, some sketch. There's the bed. And there's the TV. This is the main room, so you can see how small it is. In here you've got shower and toilet. And that is literally it. It is a very, very small room. But it does the job, I suppose. It's only a base. But yeah, let's go out and let's go out and explore then, shall we? So we made it to Paris. Just gonna walk towards the Eiffel Tower now. Um, took me ages to find the hotel. For some reason the location was not working on my phone properly. So we had a bit of a detour. Now we're just walking along the river, going to find the Eiffel Tower. Day one of Paris. So behind me you can see the Eiffel Tower in all its glory. That's what we come here for. Got nothing else to do now. Stored up my first beer of the uh, trip. Took me a while, didn't it? A bit longer than usual. Cheers everyone. Paris, city of love. Morning. Day two starts. Uh, last night, didn't have a bad sleep, but it's a bit noisy. Just behind me here, you can see that big pub there is open till two in the morning. And people were partying outside, so it was a bit noisy, I've got to say. But you know, what can you do, what can you do? <laughs> This is Montmartre. Lots of little uh, coffee shops and bars. It's 
looks like it's market day today. So these were the steps you're supposed to go up. I went a different way. Didn't realise. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? It's the famous Moulin Rouge. Went to the West End show in London earlier this year, and there's the real thing. Bit of a seedy area around here. There's a lot of uh, sex shops and stuff. I wouldn't want to be here at night, to be honest. But there it is, the Moulin Rouge. Coming up to the Louvre now. Walk in there, have a look around. I'm not actually going to go in there. This is more of a walk in sightseeing tour. Chapelle Cathedral. Next on the list of this little tour is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Over there is the Notre Dame Hotel. This is it coming up to now. And there it is in all its glory. Saw a few people last night representing the Hunchback. Had too many beers, I think. This is the Pantheon. Pantheon. I don't know how you pronounce it. There it is. So we're still in the uh, Latin Quarter, Paris. Lots of old buildings. So the architecture here is pretty amazing. 
the old square. So there's lots of places to go in, lots of things to see, museums and stuff. But we won't be doing that, I'm trying to make the most of these two days. I haven't got a lot of time, so, and I'm doing everything on foot. Took no trains, took no buses. Now, do I go in the pub? It were drink break. I think I need it. <laughs> Made it to the Garden Luxembourg. It's a huge gardens, like a national park thing. I needed something to eat. Guess what I got? It's nothing quite like a McDonald's. So I'm all packed and ready to go home. It was a nice couple of days here in Paris. Um, so what did I think of it? Well, there's a lot more I could have done. Um, I walked everywhere, didn't get the bus or the uh, train, the under the metro, anywhere. I walked and it was about a 45 minute walk from my hotel to the Eiffel Tower and that busy area down there. And a lot of the things were scattered around, like Montmartre, was the opposite direction so I've done a hell of a lot of walking but it's been good it's been good because it's filling up all the time in the day by the evening I was so tired I was mostly having, a, having, having an early night having to go to sleep couldn't handle it but Paris would I recommend it it is a lovely place but I think you need more time than two days especially if you want to go to the museums go up the Eiffel Tower the queues because it's a weekend were horrendous everywhere and I didn't pre-book anything which is why I didn't go on any of those things. It would have took too long. But for a nice break, it's been it's been good. I would highly recommend Paris. And yeah, that's it for me. See you back in the UK. I'm just waiting for my uh, Eurostar. Bit of a wait. It doesn't go till three o'clock. It's only it's about one o'clock now. I've got a hot chocolate. That is the Gare du Nord station. Getting my Eurostar back home. It's a lovely England. 